Hello and welcome to Truck NIS. We are at Bristol, paved Bristol, rather than dirt Bristol. And uh, we are starting round two of the playoffs now. Got a setup provided by Daniel. Thank you to him, and he's actually in the race this time, which is awesome. I wished him good luck. Uh, we are going to try to take this Q set out and do a fast lap with it. But I am going to have to completely focus because this thing will try to crash on me very easily. <clears throat> so first lap I'm actually going to take it a little bit easier, get the tires up to temp, and then hopefully not slide around lap two. Very sketchy. One more lap. Here we go. P3, you're currently 0.1 off the leader's pace. All right, get it through one and two. Get it out of four. I'll take it. I will take it. P2, you've just done it. So we didn't crash. The track actually felt a little grippier. I think the temperature went down a bit. Helped us not get sideways. I was very nervous because uh, in, uh, in the practice on entry here, it was just pitching sideways so easily. And the type of sideways you cannot save a lot of the time. So I'm happy just to have gotten that lap in. I think that should be solid. Uh, Glad I got that bit of pressure out of the way, but we're not done yet. Like I said, it's the first round. Or the first round. The first race of round two of the playoffs. It's a big elimination round. Eight people in this round, four will continue to the final race at Phoenix. And that means I have to be in the final four. In the top four of the standings. Your oil pimp is getting high. If we want to take part in the championship race. Practice pit in there, not very good, but I doubt we're going to need it. Okay, it's going to be scary. Yeah, Bristol is always very intense. And uh, there's no way this is not going to be intense. We're going to get the correct setup in. So that way that is all ready. Don't put Bristol dirt in. That would be bad. <laughs> and uh, don't look at the other screen. And give away Daniel's secrets. He's, uh, he's got some pretty good stuff going on here. We are one one thousandth of a second faster than Nick King, who puts up a pretty solid qualifying run. Dylan and Mitch are the guys ahead of us. I think uh, I just got to make it through this race with a solid finish, I guess. We're going to go ahead and look at the championship standings so we know what we're getting into on the way here. But like I said, you have to be in the top four at the end of this round or uh, or get a win in order to get to the next round and uh, we've got some really tough competition in here and I'm currently fifth so hold on the trucks are being loud here <laughs> well, uh, I don't want to just pause it we will do that just turn that down a little bit so I'm gonna pull up the uh, league standings here we are going to k5 championship and then we will see what we have going on beginning of a new round so like the wins and things have reset whoever wins this race though will go automatically into the next round as long as they are part of the current field you've got cave up there ryan scott dylan as your top four i'm 11 points behind dylan we could either point our way into the next round by getting in the top four or uh, win our way in. Now, of course, I could get in the top four and then Nick, Gavin, Tyler, you know, any of those guys could get a win. And even if they are still down uh, seventh, sixth, seventh, eighth or anything like that, they can get to the next round because they automatically get into the final four if they win the race. So there's a lot of things to think about here. It's going to be a tough race to win for sure all of them are That's a new fastest lap for Martin. but 
If I'm not going to be winning the race, I at least have to get a very good finish. And stay out of the wreck. The wrecks, because I'm sure they're going to be here. And next week is Talladega, which is also going to be an uh, avoid the wreck type of race. This is a huge part of the season for the championship. So many things can happen. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do my best. Try to put myself in a good position. I'm starting up further front. 200 laps. Oh, Lordy, what I get myself into. So, hopefully we'll be in front of any wrecks that might happen. You can see where we are in the pit stall. We don't have time to uh, do any practice or anything. Use that time uh, to look at everything. And while we also have a moment, as I'm cramming here to get everything I want to say out of the way, Check out the cool paint scheme. You may have glimpsed it already. Speedway Motors, purple truck. Welch's on the back for the good old grape feel. <laughs> this was uh, created for me by Nick Neven. That is the host of this league, of course. Neven 5. Gotcha. Super cool of him to do that for me. Uh, I guess yeah, uh, he and probably lots of people got sick of looking at my nasty truck that looks like this. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> and so he's like, you know what, I'm going to make that. Yeah, good luck, I'm going to make that for him so I don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> but it's uh, super nice of him. Really cool of him to do that. And uh, we're going to get in the car. Truck. The car truck. You have three. Wow, 141 laps of fuel, huh? Alright. We are going to go long, no matter what, I think. Because I just don't trust that we're going to go green. The entire way or anything like that. I doubt we even get close, but... Hey, I've, uh... I've been surprised before. We're in a great starting spot, I think. P3. I want to be on the bottom during the race, even if it might be a little bit slower on hot lapping, potentially. I think that's going to be better on the tires, that's what Daniel suggested, and I, uh, I, I agree with him, that's going to be the way to save, I think. Looks like a first gear start, interestingly. Got to be careful on that throttle, though. One left to green. So the plan is, be nice to the tires, but don't lose too much track position and put myself right into the hornet's nest. I forgot how quick the get ready is here. It scared me for a second. It's a huge race. Huge race. Dylan and Mitch, both in the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken, in front of us. Got so many leagues to keep track of. But uh, they, of course... Very fast and uh, looking to get the win here today. Decent enough start. Really being careful not to slide around. Being a little bit nervous, but don't want to slide my truck, so all's well there. It's just how we're going to be. It's like clear, but I don't want to cut them off. Gotta be really careful entering low. Finally gets single file. They're both running middle, or not middle, but uh, low side up ahead. Though Mitch is getting quite a bit of distance. Stages here, 55 and 110. So at the very least, we want to make it to 110, which we should be able to do according to the fuel. The play might be to come in a little bit after 110 if it goes green. Like I said, I don't think it's going to go green. I don't trust that it will. Which is part of the reason I am not going all too hard right now. I'm okay with Mitch and uh, Dylan getting out there. I actually thought it was Mitch in the lead, but it's uh, Dylan that's out there. I swear Mitch has an orange scheme and something, too. I think he has, like, the orange 29 <laughs> in the uh, Gen 4 or something. So, 
that confused my mind there for a second. But it is Mitch in second with Dylan in the lead. Got someone off pace already. Coming up on track, why? What are you doing? What is this guy doing? That was weird. What is... Okay. <laughs> that was kind of strange, but... Okay. We're good. Uh, okay, back back to focusing. We, uh, we're going to stay on the bottom, hopefully take care of this truck. Just kind of, oh, there's the yellow. As anticipated. Uh-oh. Oh, Daniel was in it. Dang it, man. I was really rooting for him. He might not be out of it yet. Yeah, if I wasn't there, Dan, you thought it would have been okay. That sucks. Yeah, I was trying to spin It's been a while since uh, we've run. raced with him, so I was hoping uh, he would have a good run. But still time. Very early. Very, very early in this race. I'm going to do a second gear start this next time. Alright, much too early for any tires or anything like that. 96. Got the lucky dog. Let them 96 the getting by Pit after whatever down. issue he might have had. Let the 96. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. So as anticipated, yellow comes out, we'll be brought right back to these guys and hopefully have a little bit better of tires, but it would not surprise me if they were going fast and saving tire at the same time, <laughs> as uh, seems to happen with the guys that are real good at this. Not sure what happened there. And what would be nice if they would realize there's not enough truck and just have everybody built one side. Um, seems like there's a couple guys in it, and uh, it's really hard to avoid wrecks here if it happens in front of you. You kind of just end up going straight at it, and so that's part of me. Part of the reason I, I really don't want to lose too much track position, even if I am at the same time trying to save my tires. It's a balancing act. So, hopefully this will be two to green. We can get restarted before too long. Still P3. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So we'll be on the inside again. Gonna do a second gear restart, I think. It felt like I just I got to uh, the chip a little bit too quickly. I think we should be fine launching from second gear, and it feels like that should be the case. Looking back a little further, some of your other top eight championship contenders. You've got Ryan Carwile in fifth, Gavin in sixth. Down a little bit further, you've got Nick just inside the top ten. And then Tyler back in 15th. And uh, looks like we've already lost a little bit of the field after that wreck. Or uh, at least they're still repairing and coming out. You can see them right here, coming out of the pits. One to go. So okay, they're going to tag along to the end. end of this uh, an interesting development. I believe he's P4 in the standings. Scott, Scott Irvin, not able to make it tonight. So that's not really how I would want to uh, make up some ground to make my uh, to get my way into the top four. But that obviously is really going to help us out if we can get some points here tonight. Would rather be able to pass him on the uh, on the racetrack to hopefully get some gains, but it is going to help us. But we got to finish well too, so get back at it here. Right. Same gear seemed to work just fine. They are side by side up ahead. I'm still 
primarily concerned with saving tires, so if they want to do that and wear their tires, please do so. Looks like uh, Dylan on the inside concedes it. We're going to get more more uh, wrecks, I believe. That's my uh, educated guess here. So again, just going to be gentle with the truck around here. Both on entry and exit. See how it works out. Hopefully well. Nick back there, Nick King. No, that's not Nick King. I do think Nick King was the guy behind us. That is Brian in P4. Holding on right there with a one second gap behind him. If he catches up to me and gets alongside, I'm going to back out so quickly. <laughs> I am all tire saving mode here. Um, and if it doesn't look like it, because we are P3, I'm pulling away from some guys behind. I think I'm okay with how I'm treating the tires at the moment. We can adjust later if necessary, if this is still too hard. But trying to uh, turn the steering wheel as little as possible, let the banking carry me. Not to hit the gas too hard whenever the truck's not ready to turn. Until it's slowed down enough and we're far enough through the corner that getting on the gas gets it pulling to the left at least enough to get it through the corner. Your last lap time was at we'll see where it takes us. Holding steady with Dylan, I think, right there. Mitch is getting away, though. We have the opposite of what we saw in the first run. Between those two. And there's that other caution I anticipated, so. I'm gonna do it again. It's the 17, or the 12 this time, rather. Looks like it might have been a self spin out of the corner, which is very easy to do. How many sets of tires we got? Sorry, I tried to stay off of you when you got loose there. We yeah, have three fine. sets of tires, All on me. so still much too early to take any of those, I think. When would I want to come take tires? Maybe at least once I get like through 50? More than 50, because some of these have been under caution. We'll at, at some point be able to make it on fuel, which would be about lap 60, considering we can go about 140 on fuel. So we'll watch out for that. That might be a good indicator of when it's time to take some tires. There's going to be plenty of cautions, I think, so you don't want to be caught on one of these cautions with no tires to spare. So the other guys are going to go flying past you. So we got to be smart about how we use them. So now it's Mitch that's going to be leading us off on this next restart. Dylan on the outside. We're still P3. Harwile still 5th. With Gavin behind him in 6th. Nick's still rounding out the top 10. So not too much movement. Tyler has moved forward a couple spots. You can see some guys lap down or fixing some damage. If I start blinking really bad, uh, let me know. My cue bar bouncing up and down. Uh oh. It's are open. Don't want to hear about that happening to Gavin. This, of course, is where I lagged out of the Diet Dr. Pepper series race here. So hopefully there's no. So far, you've been good. You haven't blinked any. Hopefully there's no uh, internet curse P at road, Bristol. It's closed. Right cool, it's closed infecting everybody in these league races. Check for tire spin. I think we'll be just fine in second gear. What if there's anybody still or ever having done first gear that might end up with some tire spin? 
Not sure what other guys are going with, but if they're going with first gear still, we've got enough laps on these tires that might start getting a little slidey if they start gunning it up. Something we might have to watch for. Feeling good so far, though. We have uh, we've made it 30 laps here. We've got some track position. Go. Truck's right. clean. We're looking to be fast, but we're looking to be resilient as well and survive to the end of this thing. And uh, if you're going to enter a coliseum, you got to be uh, thankful. got to be grateful if you can make it out with your life, because it is a battle in here. 170 to go? 169 to go? Something like that numbers and whatnot. Yeah, 169 to go. The ice car is off. Be ready. Not able to stay in front of Dylan. We made him work a little bit. That's okay. Not too concerned about that. We're going back to tire saving. Truck still feels great, by the way. You've just done a 15.1. I haven't really pushed all that hard yet. Nor do I feel it's necessary. We'll get a longer run this time. I can see the track getting tighter as time goes on here since we do have the night race going on. The temperature of the track is cooling down. Rip level on the track goes up, but as a consequence it rips up those tires more so you start feeling a little tighter. That's how I understand that works. I could be wrong. That's uh, how I've always understood it to work. I could be talking nonsense as far as I know. Ryan's looking like he's going a lane up out, uh, back there. He could be wanting to get around us. So we'll watch out for that. I think it's a big run. He very well could. So far, though, he's still about two tenths back. Nice work, Tello. Nice work. Uh oh. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> I never know for sure. When someone says something complimentary, it usually assume it's sarcasm. I don't see any wrecks, though. So I guess we're fine. I'm going to be patient on the throttle and wait until we're most of the way through the corner before I really start gassing it up. Pulled away from Ryan Thompson, but we've got a different Ryan in our mirror now. From Carwile. He's looking like he might be pretty fast. I'll tell you that without looking at him. He's obviously one of the top contenders for the championship this season for a reason. He's been winning a lot lately. See him moving up to the top. He could be looking to get around us. That lap time was 15.3. At what point do we start pushing harder? We get closer to that time where... Uh, be able to make it on fuel. 
if we get another caution. So we would definitely want to come in. We start using these tires now. Maybe we do. I think we fight for this spot if he comes up on us. Thanks, Jeff. It's getting tied down low. I think I'm going up high. Higher, at least. You've just done a 15 point three. Right, inside. Clear inside. The car inside. Go high. Clear. It's going to be hard for him to pass us if we run up here. But it's going to be hard on our tires, too. Counting on a caution happening not too long from now. He's faster, I think, but it's going to be hard for him to get around us. We're catching up to these guys ahead because they're battling for position. Truck's already starting to feel tighter out here, though. Oh boy, we're getting into lap traffic now. This could get dangerous. Oh, he's getting held up. Rick, can we say hi, please? Outside. Catch him on exit, but we're fine. Getting intense. Car inside. Clear inside. Car outside. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside. We're not going to be able to pass on the bottom. That's not going to happen. We have to hope we get to his outside somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that, but that's what we're going to hope for. He's going low there. Inside. Almost got into the wall. That was close. He almost gets in the wall there, it looked like. We are in the wall. Easy now. He's gonna pass us. What's your looking like? Ugh, he gets around us. Dang it, man. Tires cool down a little bit, I think. You've just done a 15.9. Tires are hurting. 
I might have gone up there too soon. I was counting on a caution. I knew it was going to do this to us, but counting on there being another caution soon. Didn't really happen. Slow car up high is a scary call. Gavin is flying, by the way. He has just shown up in a flash. He's caught us from so far back. Did we just let him go? I have to. No, I, I need the track position. I went harder knowing that uh, we would need a caution. The whole point was to try to keep my track position. We need the track position if the caution does come out. I still think it's very possible. Mitch ahead. Dylan is in the lead. Alright, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. The gap to Dronowski ahead is now 1.2 seconds. Put myself into a hole. Driving so hard. Just really assumed we'd get a caution. And we still could. The car's like the truck's like too tight to go to the bottom at this point, it feels like. That was Oof, this is so tough. Bristol is just intense racing. In real life, you've got the G-forces working on you, but... Even on iRacing, it's like, you really gotta be precise. Maybe it's stressful coming out of the corners here, because... You went wrong, and you're heading right for that outside wall. Oh my god, that scared me. A little bit of a blink there. Frank. Clear. Car inside. Still there. Keep high. Still there at the bottom. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there, inside. Car ahead is Thompson. Clear inside. <sighs> Not doing hot. You've just done 16.1. Should have saved tires more. I thought for sure we'd get another yellow. Looking to get by us now. Uh oh, Frank almost in the wall there. Made me nervous. Less and less grip. Feels like. No, these guys are annoyed. Get picked here. Frank coming up. Nothing we can do about it. This sucks. This sucks so bad. 
Oh my god, no! I can't do anything about this! Alright, just the nature of this track. Nothing you can do there. Oh boy, that sucks. Of course, Eleven's gonna get to our outside now. That ruined us, man. We were already bad spot, but now we're hemorrhaging spots. Caution now. Now, now, now. That's not gonna happen. It doesn't look like it anyway. That was a sixteen point two. Well, I would do this differently. I just didn't trust the field. I didn't trust the field to go green, so I was like, all right, I'm going to try to hold on to this position by running high, and uh, in the end it lost me many more positions, so that's what I get. have to try to persevere through these horrible conditions. And hopefully get a caution. At some point we pit. But I don't want to be I don't want to pit early. I really, really don't. Because if I know they haven't gotten there hasn't been a caution in a while, but they're gonna do it, it's probably gonna be once pit start stop start. Stop start. <laughs> start stop start. That last light was at sixteen point two. This thing is plowing. The car inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear inside. What do we do? I don't know. We don't. Tyler's up on us now. That lap was a 16.2. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. You've just done a 16.2. Oh, almost got the wall. Fighting so hard, trying not to let it clear, but he does. I just got no speed anymore. Traffic ahead. Going high. It's not what I need to see. I cannot hold it down here, man. Go low. Thirteenth place. The leader is coming up on you. They're not We're gonna go lap down. 
clear outside if you want it. Outside. Can't pass this lap car when he goes high. Outside Just can't. Clear. Car inside. Oh my freaking god, why? Why is everybody having trouble in front of me? We have to pit now anyway, because we're going to go left down anyway. I'm so bad. Ugh. Just going to have to pit and hope. Just terrible. Car inside. Still inside. Clear inside. Didn't think. I thought it was gonna clear me. I didn't mean to get stay on his outside like that. Just have to pit. We're gonna pit next time around here. Just done at sixteen point five. Pitting in here, pitting in. Clear. Fourteenth. Pitting in, pitting in. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit. It's a terrible idea, but we've Miles backed hour. ourselves into this corner. Time, There's no time. way we go green. There's no way. But I was literally going to blow a right front at that rate. Right? Five. Ten. Three. Two. One. Right here. Oh, in front is pitting. 41.72. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm doing so poorly. I'm pitting. I'm pitting. All clear, punch it. I'm pitting. There's traffic behind. Take care, rejoining. The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. Car outside. Outside, clear. The car in front is pitting. Outside. Go low. Outside, clear. I just shut the car Of course I did. Place. The car in front is pitting. Inside, uh, so very least I really hope we can make it through this pit cycle, but I just don't know, man. Wow. These tires are so much better than mine. What what is wrong with me? <laughs> Forty one seventy two is atrocious. That's not because of a caution, slow car down low. Oh, it's just so terrible. Staying on the bottom, this whole run this time is what I'm doing. At least we didn't uh, speed or anything. Able to avoid any major issues. Car outside. Still there. That was a 15 clear You're reeling fine. Yeah, the gap is now 0.5. Hmm. Car Car outside. Clear high. Getting track position back, but by killing our tires again, I'm sure. Car download. That keeps scaring me every time. And it's just because there's people on the Oh, never mind. That's Dylan, too. It's closed. 
What's this going to do? We are multiple laps down. Oh. Well, now we're all trapped three laps down. Sucks. Yeah, that sucks. What a garbage race for me. Oh, still time to try to pull back as much as we can. I should have stayed out. I have 58 laps to the good. I knew it all along. Man, I was two cars away from getting back in the lead lap, being the first one, or one lap down, being the first one. I had just got off that road when the caution came out. Well, Ryan, looking good. Dylan, despite being the one that crashed, looking good. I think it was Dylan. I knew better than Pitt there, but I did it anyway. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Yep, same. Told myself not to, and then everyone else was the way out. I guess I will too. Pit road's open. Pits are open. Yeah, that's what I did too. Yeah, but it was getting to the point where, like, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I was going to blame Gavin because I was just following him. But I was just trying not to let uh, Nick up there get too far ahead of me, but that didn't work. Oh, so bad. Yeah, it's been fun racing, though, anyway. This is going to probably oh, yeah. introduce really more, pass, but it's fun battling. more cautions, though, I had to guess. My car was super good in the long run, which was fun to find out. <laughs> yeah, my tires were 83.77, so it wasn't too bad. Holy cow, my right front was 50. So you were doing really good. I was 74.74. 47 and 53. I was hoping for a, another caution not too long through that run, so I was just worried about track position, and then the caution never came, and I just plummeted. Yeah, it's hard to fade there, too, because you want to battle for those stage points. One left to yeah. green. Oh, boy. Past the pace car, about to go green, stay focused. Can't get caught up. Yeah, got the wave around. Pace car is off. Green flag. green flag. What's going on? Inside. You're in the top ten. Me ten. Clear inside. Well, that was a bad. I, I don't like doing that at all. But we were not lined up at all. P9. You've just done it. Fifteen point five. I don't know how to save tires, I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't know how. Like, I know I went high that run, but even moving up high like that and running hard for a while, like, Jesus, what's going on? Uh, even going up and running high for a while, like, I'm just, there's no way I got the 41 on the right front. Just from that, I, I highly doubt it. So, we're just never going to move up <laughs> to the top this run and see what happens, but I feel like I'm still going to be really bad on the tires. Try to be a little bit bigger on the brakes. Outside. Keep low. Clear 
Right. All right, started to slide sideways. Two laps down to the leaders. Great. Gonna need some more cautions. That's what needs to happen. We're in eighth despite being two laps down. We gotta get up. Oh, Nick sideways. We gotta get up and get past him, the guy that's going sideways, I think. Oh, we can't. There's people that are one lap down, so we're not even. There's no way we can even get Lucky Dog. <sighs> not with a, multiple more cautions. We're just in a really bad spot. We just gotta hope we can get what we can get with the lap that we are on. Can we unlap ourselves, though? That would be interesting if we could pull that off. in front of them. Unlap ourselves. Alright, get back to the bottom though as soon as possible. Back it down big. Spot does not, these spots don't really matter too much. We're looking to get more. Plane wants to be in. Going high. Clear inside. D seven. No idea how this is going to work out. Sure, Dylan and Ryan are feeling pretty darn good right now. Having not pit, not pit under green. I mean, all right, there is a yellow. We got one of our laps back. Yes, I got my lap back. <laughs> wow, nice. Ryan, are you the lucky dog or no? I think I think you will be because I just passed Dylan, so whoever was behind me. What is the situation? Lead lap? We gotta go back to lead lap, I think. We just gotta take the wave around. Still feeling kind of fast, so I'll take that, I guess. Car seven got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. Can we get a wave around though? We might not be able to get a wave around. How? I didn't hit don't nothing hit. enough, man. How did I not get the lucky dog? We would need everybody to pit, and Dylan did not pit, it looks like. Dylan, you should have went and got tired. Can't believe I got sucked into the wall like that. So we have to pit now, so we're not going to get a wave around. We're under caution. Pit's closed. Pit road is now open. Is that course, what I understand here? Dylan stayed out. Mm. The car 
fire in front is pitting. Please, please pull up. Watch your speed. Alright. Right. We'll need to stop again. Well, if no wave around, at least we'll get tires. Just put a bunch of fuel in this thing so it turns. I guess. <laughs> Stopped, 93-92. Left side's, left front's burning off a whole lot, interestingly. Okay, punch it. Be mindful, you only have one set of tires remaining. Line one up. set of tires remaining, it's fine. Lots of fuel in it. Go. Next go time green, next time. Line up on the outside. Catch fifty-eight car. About to go green. Stay focused. What are we doing? Let's go. Let's get this sorted out. James is lucky dog position. There's a couple cars up, so we have to go past James. This is messy. Gotta go past Clear James. Well, that was at fifteen point six. Car outside. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. Oh, I did not expect him to go high. Nick is fighting hard. Gonna have the advantage of high. Dang it, man. Shipping out hard. <laughs> oh, we're chipping out so hard. That's funny. Because we're definitely going the fastest we've gone so far. I don't think we can catch James though. I think he's too fast. P8. You just Maybe not. Point seven. Well, he's battling up there. We are gonna try. We are gonna try to catch him. We gotta try to go lower though. These tires are not gonna last. Chad in the wall. Where he's trying to go? Okay. Outside. Your last lap time was at 14.9. Outside, clear. Get around him. I see James. We're getting closer. We still need a caution if it happens too, though. like almost contact up there. Drove in really hard there. Tried something. 
lap time was 14.9. Really want this lucky dog, all of us do. Gavin's in the wall back there, he wants the lucky dog. Gavin saved hard, I think. He's gonna come past us. Nick's getting sideways. He's sliding down to the apron. Oh, we took out Gavin! No, James is gonna get the lucky dog! Oh my god. Man, I'm sorry, Matthias. I tried to get Oh my god. That was the most intense. I wish Mike would have a mic. I don't think I touched him. That was the most brutally intense battle for Lucky Dog I've ever been a part of. I hate to see that happen. I, I know I'm not in the championship, but I was determined to get that Lucky Dog. You did it too. Nicely done. Yeah, good racing, James. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Gotta, gotta race for the position. Oh, four. Got the lucky dog. oh boy. <laughs> that was fun, though. That was pretty darn fun. This will be interesting if Dylan pitch or not. What do we do? We pit. That's what we do. The last pair of sandals on this thing. <laughs> We're under caution. Pits are closed. Uh, guys? The single pit. What are you guys doing? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh no. <laughs> that just happened. Sorry, you to go back home. What on earth just happened? Talk about a twist. Watch your speed Somebody said. Wow. Whoever said that, thank you. Again. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, I barely got out. Yeah, you gotta enter at turn two in this pit style. And uh, Dylan came in at the wrong time. He basically entered the wrong pit. Five. Wow. Three. That's crazy. Two, one. Right here. Ninety-four, ninety-five. Well, we got our last set on. Pit exits open. Good to check that. Heard from a friend, it's good to make sure that the paid exit is uh is open before you leave. Where does it want me? Here? Okay. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I think we try to unlap ourselves. I guess. Is that what we do? I guess that's what we do. Where's the 16 going? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Nick scared me. Yeah, I thought we were getting the wave around. Oh boy. This is messy. Oh, what is this? The 16 up? Okay, 16 is getting in place. We're good. We're in, we're in the right spot. I hope I don't get a penalty for that.
Clear up, Cobb. The gap behind is increased to not Oh my gosh, she was low. <laughs> that was lower than I expected him to be. Which lane do you want, Golden? Uh, low's good. Okay. What's that? Hello, please. Car outside. Clear high. Thanks, sorry. It's hard to talk while I'm driving here. The gap in front is now 13 seconds. Alright. Uh, we are lucky, dog. We gotta try to keep it. No more sets of tires to put on this thing, so... I think we back it down. Just take this spot. Take it easy for now. So that way if we do get our our lap back, we can uh, have as good a tire as possible to try to do something with late. Just gotta watch my relative for guys that uh, are gonna be fighting for Lucky Dog with me. We're in seventh place. Not bad. Not terrible at all. Passing because I know I'm faster right now. Be able to unlap ourselves normally. That'd be interesting. It would allow us to not have to be into the longest line as a uh, lucky dog. Be nice. Low as possible. Can't see who's the next person, but they aren't too close, so I should be okay. They're just getting sideways, it looks like. This is all four battling for the lead. Do I insert myself into this? Ryan's in the wall. Oh my goodness. I just gotta be smart. I gotta be real smart about how I do this. If I am gonna try to pass. I think I'll hang out for a little bit. That lap was at 15.3. Because I have time, I have space, there's no uh, There's no one I can pass. I need a caution anyway. It would be nice to get it out in front. I'm just looking for Lucky Dog right now. I don't want to march forward anymore unless I've got someone tracking me down for the Lucky Dog. It's good to save these tires anyway, in case I do get that Lucky Dog. So that's what we're going to be doing. Ryan's in the wall some more. You gotta remember they've got nine to go. You've just done it. Dylan's going up with his fresh tires. This is gonna be a crazy finish. I think maybe we gotta give them space in case they wreck, because we can't be in the wreck if we want the lucky dog. 
This could get explosive. Interesting how this has sh turned out here. Dylan going bottom. He's headed for the lead, trying to make it. How much extra tire does he have? Is it enough to get around the bottom? It's very tough to do. We've got front row seats. Whoa, Mitch is sideways. He's out of control. His tires are hot. We cannot be part of the wreck if it happens. Just a reminder to myself. Four to go for the lead, guys. out there. Clear up, Don't really want to get past them. The gap to lemons behind Will they crash and allow me to get on the lead lap? Two more, let go. They're side by side heading to what I believe is the white flag. Yes. I don't want to be on his inside. For the win, is Dylan going to be able to get him on the inside? Looks like Ryan's going to get the run off. Ryan gets the win. We get P7. What a crazy race. Good race. Great win, Ryan. Good job. Very good job. For me, a sixth place, place finish is a win. Wow. Look out for the pitch. Yeah, good job, man. James. Good race, and that was a fun one. Yeah, weird. 94, 93 on that last run. Probably saving how I should have been the whole time, <laughs> to be honest. God, stop doing that. Every time. I'm trying to set the camera up. I don't know how much incidents we're going to be able to see. It's going to be mostly wall hits, I bet, but that was wild. So we get P7. That's still not so bad. Um, Ryan gets the win. He will be in the final four, the championship four, heading to Phoenix. Dylan... Very good run. Finished his second. We've got Mitch in fourth. So all of the guys that are ahead of us in the standings all, uh, all finished ahead of us, except for Scott, who just couldn't make it tonight. So hopefully uh, our run here able to get us far enough uh, forward. Stuck on my wheelbase. To uh, maybe pass Scott? I don't know. We'll see what the championship looks like after this. I will, before I we uh, add the stage points. Gavin and Nick, the next two guys behind us. <laughs> that crazy race we had with Nick and James for the lucky dog. That was uh, <laughs> That was wild. And it looked like it ended with Nick getting loose, and then I didn't see what happened after that. Gavin got collected, though. So I suppose we'll see whatever happened there here in the incidents. Well, at least make sure we see that. Dan getting loose on colder tires. Still probably a little cold on lap 9. And uh, just... Bristol being Bristol, once people start getting sideways, it's really hard to avoid it. We had some guys with some very good runs. Chad with a third place, James in sixth. A couple of guys that had really excellent days. A great job to them. Let's take a look at the whole field there. 
And you know that wasn't a wreck fest. We had a lot of green laps mixed in there. So good job to everybody. Wrecks are going to happen at Bristol. That's kind of synonymous with Bristol. 12 just drifting all the way through the corner. Just getting a couple taps to help send them all the way around. Moving forward here. Are we stuck on Frank for some reason? I think it's just him blinking. Hopefully it's not broken. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. Brian's going to go get the wall. Side by side here. That's a blink. Man, wish we could have gone back in the lead lap, but it's my own fault for putting myself all the way back anyway. Just by being so terrible that first round on the tires, on the right front specifically. So lap 90. Just a little bit of wall hitting. Here near the front, this is a uh, battle for second or third, I think. I like Daniel's nerds truck. Got the, all the all the nerds in the truck bed there. <laughs> That's fun. What did I do? Maybe my tires just being absolutely horrid, probably. So moving along. Those are some similar looking trucks there. Ooh, little contact. I'm looking at the orange and red on the 96 and the 94. They look like they're part of the same team or something. <laughs> Gavin? Probably just tires. Dang, I wish I had saved my tires better the first run so I could stick to my original plan. Whoa! <laughs> stick to my original plan of... Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, the, I think the 12 just turned down on the 62, and honestly, that ended up, or the 81, sorry. The 81 just turned down on uh, Dylan there. Didn't know he was still there, probably, and uh, took him out. And it actually uh, kind of helped him, honestly, because trapped a ton of people back there. So I, I guess uh kind of helped him out in a weird way. Getting back to it. Yeah, we did green flag pit stop at Bristol, Chad says. That's pretty cool. Didn't work out for the guys that came in early, but it technically happened. Not the whole cycle, but we did green flag pit. And got sideways and roughed up a little bit. A little wall. Oh, there's a big wall hit, and that's going to be a wreck. So the, the 96 just clobbers the wall, and it sends him sideways. And uh, Nick King, I believe that is, yes, no, nowhere to go there. There was a caution. Rick off the pace a bit. Or just letting them by. You can see Nick and I battling really hard for the spot. I think we actually made contact here. Was I too far away from the wall? Oh, that was just net code. Yeah, that was big net code. That was like a half a foot between us. And then I'm just stuck behind and I'm like, oh my god, why? So the 81's gonna help Nick. I try to do the cut under, but not happening. Very difficult to uh, pass on the low side at Bristol here. And then this is what happens to Nick. He gets super sideways, corrects it into Gavin. Oh my goodness. And that's what gave, J gave James the lucky dog. It, it just, it's one of those like break sideways. I, I felt it a number of times, especially when trying to go fast. Like, once it's sideways here, those tire temps shoot up to nuclear levels, and there's just no grip anymore. I mean, it was impressive of him to not just completely spin it from there. 
And you knew he wanted to catch it, but he just accidentally overcorrects it right into Gavin. It's going to be uh, funny watching his reaction to that. Um, that mistake there in his video. I'm sure he doesn't feel too good about it. But everyone was just racing so hard. And then what on earth happened there? So caution is out from this incident here. And then uh, well, guys just weren't ready to slow down, I guess. So we got caution all right, right here. Caution comes out right here. And uh, I think probably what happened is 99 sees Nick in the wall there and he's like, oh, we got to slow down. We got cars in the wall up ahead. Could be dangerous. And uh, Nick just Nick King just wasn't ready for it. And uh, just, wow, that's a big hit right there, too, for Matthias. That might have ended his race, even. Maybe. He was only three laps down. I'm sure it didn't help. And then Dylan, in the, a little further back, after the mistake, and, uh, the mistake on pit road, or into the wrong pit road, I guess, is the way to say that. Just some blinking from some guys, though. And then that was it. Ryan gets the win. Looking strong, as always. And, uh... Here again is your finishing order. I will go ahead and bring up... the race results. And here they are. Let's see... Ryan with the win, he locks himself in to the next round of the playoffs, and which is the finale at Phoenix. So he is going to be racing for the championship at Phoenix in a couple races. You can see we are down here in 7th, we get 30 points. No bonuses for fast lap or anything like that. But um, at least we had ourselves a decent run. Did not, uh, we're not able to get back on the lead lap, but we got pretty close, and we put ourselves in a uh, position to potentially get back there, had there just been one more caution, but even, even if we did, our tires weren't doing so hot. Able to keep it 0x, <laughs> that's not really worth anything, I guess, in league uh, setting, but uh, it represents having kept the truck clean, which is good. That's always helpful. And you can see here the rest of your results. Tyler in 11th. So your, uh, your championship eight. You had uh, Scott not able to make it. Ryan, Dylan, Mitch, and then myself, Gavin, Nick, and then Tyler. So we will see what the league standings are looking like now. However, this is before we actually get... Um, any stage points added, so keep that in mind as I go ahead and bring that up now. And you can see we have found ourselves into the fourth spot. Scott, a huge blow for his chances. Having gotten a zero right there, that was even more impactful than I thought. So he's gotten himself all the way down to eighth by missing the race. D and queuing, I guess, essentially. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully he can make it next time. Of course, Cabe was not here as well. He, uh... Guess didn't need to be, because he's in third. <laughs> he probably had real-life stuff. Real-life racing to do. But, uh, right now, we are three points ahead of Nick. Again, before stage points. But three points ahead of Nick for the coveted top four and fourth position. So very tight, very interesting. He, he finished right behind us. And uh, he may very well have gotten more stage points. So it's going to be really interesting to see what that's looking like. But for now, that'll do it. Um, next week, Talladega, huge wild card. You could uh, find yourself with a surprise winner. You could uh, end up in the big wreck. Just, just about anything could happen. So going to be some uh, enticing television heading into the next race. And uh, I think this one was some pretty exciting stuff too. 
Bristol's always putting on a show. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.